There is a rich military history all across North Carolina, from Goldsboro to Jacksonville and beyond. Our armed forces are a way of life for many in eastern North Carolina. That includes Edgecombe County. We're visiting Tarboro for this week's People in Places, making a stop at a one of a kind military museum. There's plenty to see and do in historic downtown Tarboro, including one spot on West Church Street folks here are pretty proud of. Well, it's the biggest tourist attraction in the county. This is the Edgecombe County Veterans Military Museum. We'll knock your socks off. The museum opened in 2004 and is celebrating 15 years of honoring local military veterans. This museum has 138,000 plus artifacts all from Edgecombe County. Born in, raised in, worked in, lived in, or has ties to the county. Edgecombe County is a small county, population around 55,000. And the military population from here is extraordinary. And the museum aims to honor all those who have served, dating back to the Civil War. We have the largest portrait display in the United States, 8 by 10 military portraits. We're pushing right at 1,200. And one of the faces you'll see featured prominently is General Hugh Shelton. Shelton, who grew up in the Speed area of Edgecombe County, served as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff under Presidents Bill Clinton and George W. Bush. General Shelton is the highest ranking general officer that ever come out of Edgecombe County. As a matter of fact, the state of North Carolina. Up on one of the bays is General Shelton's final check from 82nd Airborne. Remember, 82nd. His final paycheck was 82 cents. Imagine that. <laughs> Here, you'll also see some of the military's highest honors. More than 50 Purple Hearts, 30 plus Bronze Stars, 20 plus Silver Stars, two Medal of Honor. They're also proud of the first thing you see when you walk in the building, a fully restored World War II era Jeep. This thing came in in boxes, and we had a couple of guys, uh, they're older fellows that rebuilt it. Everything on it's original except one quarter panel, and we drive it. And just outside the museum, across the parking lot, is the largest military mural in North Carolina. It's probably up to four stories high. Absolutely beautiful. From murals to jeeps to weapons, medals, and more, there's so much for you to see, all while remembering and honoring those who served. My favorite part, I, I don't have a favorite, the whole thing is, is mine. I, I love it, I enjoy it. There's so much, you just need to come and see what we have. Veterans Military Museum recently extended their hours. You can now visit Wednesday through Saturday from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. We'd love to hear your ideas for our next People in Places segment. Let us know what's unique in your area by sending me an email to kwatling at wnct.com or connect with me on Twitter or Facebook.